everybody, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. So, as you'll have seen from the title of this video, we've decided to sell our house and I thought I would vlog the whole process. We've actually got the estate agents coming around this morning to take pictures of the house, hopefully to get it listed tomorrow afternoon and then we can start the process of getting viewings booked in. I was in a rush to get this done because I actually found my dream house. It went for sale five days ago. We viewed it knowing that we weren't really in a position to put an offer in, but hoping nobody else would. But it got snapped up and I'm not surprised. It was an amazing house. So yeah, I'm a little bit gutted about that. I need to be definitely in the right position, ready for when the next house comes up because it will, I know it will. So yeah, if you wanna see us sell, then just keep watching. I'm gonna show you around and show you how I've got the house prepped for the pictures to be taken. It's very, very tidy, but not very, very clean. But I'm gonna walk you around and show you everything that I've done. So, start off in the bathroom. So I'm actually gonna move the shower mat just because it makes the room look bigger on pictures, I think. People wanna come in and just see what they will be able to do with the space. Tom asked me yesterday why I've got a snake charmer's box there. Um, I told him it's fashion hunt and it's from Primark. Not too much clutter or anything going on. I've also taken out the shower caddy just so people can see, you can imagine more what their stuff will look like in this room. So in my dressing room where I've just been, those boxes under there, I'll just make sure she doesn't get on the pictures. Uh, I might move that rail out of the room when she does the pictures. Obviously you can see the We've got a patch of paint that needs doing, but until viewings take place, I'm not too bothered about that. I'll just make sure she doesn't get it on the pictures. And we've got 10,000 shoes on there that need moving, but like I said, I'm just gonna make sure she doesn't get it on the pictures. And then when viewings take place, I'll just shove them all in a box and put them in my car or something. Then the bedroom, I've just, again, made sure that everything's tidy and clean so it can look as big as possible we don't want any clutter in this room and show the bed's nice and tidy tom's bedside table could do with a tidy up but and i'll move that cup from this morning but yeah that's the master bedroom hoping that they'll get a nice picture of the staircase that we had done so that's that and then in the third bedroom i just need to move these cushions for the picture uh, move Tom's bike and all his bits and bobs here out of the room while they take a picture of this room so we need to make this look as big as possible because it is actually a double room and I think most people when they come to this house think this is going to be a box room but it's not it's actually a really decent size room it's probably the second biggest I'll take you downstairs and show you what I've done downstairs Eric peeping. This is the hallway and the sun's just come out as well. Hiya Eric, are you okay darling? So this is what he's done with the garden. I think he's done a really good job. So he's just put all this Cotswold stone down where the crazy paving was, made this little section here. We actually used to have a rail there because I think all people lived here before us. He's trimmed all the bushes back to make the garden look as big as it possibly can. And then I'll sort out that washing line in a minute. And then that's just all of our stuff that we haven't had time to do anything with. So yeah, I've just tidied up all the kitchen. Decluttered it really, but just left a couple of nice little things out like that that just look nice on pictures. And hello, missus. What? We've collapsed your crate, haven't we? Let's hope they don't get that stained, horrible rug in that you've ruined. So usually Connie's crate is over here by the back door, but we've put that down for the picture so that she can get right up into the corner of the room and take a good picture. I think we'll probably leave the fitted blinds in this house just because all they're all made to measure anyway and the windows are all funny sizes with it being such an old house. There's no point in us taking them. You're getting into a big girl. And you're going to have lots of treats with me. You're such a good girl. Yeah. Oh, you look cute there. Let's take a picture of you like that. This is the 
lounge area and I've just, again, tidied it all up, made it look nice and fresh and uh, made sure there's no clutter. Okay, so the estate agents have literally just left. Um, it actually went really well. It was easy to manoeuvre Connie around. She was good as gold and Eric's always good, the cat. Um, but yeah, she was particularly good, weren't you? Yeah. Were you a good girl when the estate agents were here? I'm gonna make myself a quick bit of breakfast now and a coffee because, because I'm absolutely gagging for a coffee. I haven't had one yet. So the estate agents were basically saying that we just need to sign our contracts, get all of our ID in and um, I need to find a copy of my marriage certificate as well for the mortgage. I need all that to sort of tally up. So we also need a new EPC certificate because this one is expiring but I've been told that they only cost around £40 to get so that's fine. We are listing it on the market sort of like a middle of the road price. They have three packages I think. One is where you take all your own pictures I think and list it yourself and then the middle package is where you do all your own viewings but you have the professional pictures and you have them uh, do all the description for you. And then you have a more expensive package which is where the estate agents show you around. But when we sold our last house, we actually did the viewings ourselves and we thought it went better that way. You managed to get in every bit of detail that you want to get in. It's a little bit more personal and we just really enjoyed it last time. So we're going to be doing the viewings on this house ourselves. I think it comes to about £800 all in, including VAT. We've used this particular agents before and we were really happy with everything they did last time. So we just decided to go with them again just to make it easy and get it done quickly. But obviously we aren't in a major rush now because we haven't got the property that we want. Um, but fingers crossed we are gonna find something soon. I have every faith that we will do. Hey everybody, so it is one day later and I do have a little bit of news. We have put the house up for sale. It is now live on Right Move. Anybody can view it, anybody can book to come and visit the house and yeah it is nerve-wracking i've literally bitten off all of my false nails my heart has literally just been in my mouth i feel like i've just got this knot in my stomach and i don't know why because this house will remain ours until we find somewhere to go and i just need to think about that because i'm just getting really nervous that we're not going to find anywhere and this house is going to sell but the advert went on at uh, 11 this morning and we've only had one inquiry so far. So today is Wednesday and we've got one we've got one viewing booked for Saturday morning. A lady's coming visiting with a husband, um, so we'll see what comes of that. Um, I'm hoping that we'll get more inquiries than just one person wanting to view the house. But let's keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. Bye. So that was the estate agents and there's another viewing booked in so we've got two for Saturday now. So it's looking like people are inquiring now so that's good. That's the latest update. Hi everyone. So it's the next day. It is now Thursday and we've started to get a lot more interest over the last few hours and I am feeling a whole mixture of emotions at the moment please excuse the way i look i'm just about to go out on a dog walk but i just feel really upset actually i've just noticed that the for sale board has gone up outside and i don't know whether we're doing the right thing but i knew i was going to go through this i knew i was going to feel like this i just i've always felt really safe here um and like nothing can touch us kind of thing um any news about my cancer has always been good and I know you can't relate a house to that but your home is like your safe place isn't it so just a little bit worried that we aren't doing the right thing and I said I would vlog the whole process so hi everybody it's been a couple of days since I last updated the vlog the for sale sign went up outside and i had a mini meltdown as soon as that board went up i just thought oh my god we actually are selling this house and yeah my head turned into mush i basically just lost the plot but i quickly sorted myself out because i knew i was just being a bit silly about it so <clears throat> like we've made this decision now we need to just get on with it it's now saturday uh, we had two viewings last night and we had four back to back this morning. We had half an hour slots for each couple that wanted to view. 
there was a mixture of people that were interested a couple of first time buyers there was a cash buyer as well but I don't think he'll be making an offer because as he was leaving he said good luck so <laughs> then we just had a few other people that were just interested but didn't even have their houses on the market yet so we haven't had any feedback yet whatsoever we're waiting for the estate agent's office to open up on Monday one second I'm getting a call hello oh yeah will you just get me some diet tonic thank you love you babe where was I? I'm hoping that we get some more viewings next week if we don't get offers from these people. But in terms of us finding some work for ourselves, there's absolutely nothing out there that is jumping out to me at the minute. So that's the update and I will check in shortly. Also, I feel like my eyes look a really odd shape at the minute, but I've done the Jamie Genevieve hack where she chops her eyelashes in half and she just makes them sort of like so it like completely changes the shape of your eyes so I've got really round eyes and I feel like it's made them look a bit more like and, and I also look like I'm naked and I'm definitely not hi everyone so it has been a little while since I last updated the vlog but it's been my wedding anniversary oh my god look at these flowers my bestest friends in the whole wide world basically got in touch with this amazing local florist who I'd never heard of before and um sort of got them to try and recreate my wedding bouquet so in my wedding bouquet i had like these little berries i had loads of eucalyptus and like wild foliage and um they've even put in some really big white rolls and things i'm not sure what these are called but they're absolutely gorgeous but how amazing are they um and i think that they are gorgeous as well and i've never seen them before if anybody knows what they are please let me know because yeah, I'd just like to know if it'll focus. Um, and loads of rosemary as well in this bouquet, which is just stunning. Anyway, so the reason I haven't updated the vlog before now is because, well, everything sort of came to a standstill. Let me just sit you there. Okay, so yeah, everything sort of came to a temporary standstill. Boris Johnson made an announcement a few days ago which put restrictions on people meeting indoors um, because of coronavirus. There's been an increased number of cases near where I live, so um, the restrictions were tightened slightly and the estate agents that we're selling our house with decided that viewings couldn't go ahead which was fine because like I said it was my anniversary weekend and it was just really nice to just not have to clean to be honest so we had three viewings booked in for the Saturday which got cancelled and then they were rearranged and they are taking place tonight so so six o'clock 6 30 and seven o'clock the first one she seems rather keen can you see the puppy with my pillow one minute a little bugger um anyway so yeah what was i saying so going off what the estate agents told us she seems really keen to see it and in my opinion the house looks better in real life than it does on the pictures so i'm just thinking she likes the pictures she's obviously interested i'm hoping that she will prefer it even like more when she comes around and sees it so yeah i've got a good feeling about her and then the second uh, couple that are coming at 6 30 our first time buyers no chain there and at seven o'clock we have um a second viewing so somebody that came last week wants to view again which is always a good sign so yeah i'm feeling positive about tonight i am hoping that um something comes of it just so that i don't have to keep cleaning my house it's so annoying i will be back on the vlog with an update as to what happens with that if anything Hi everybody, so I've got a bit of an update for you. Um, a lot has happened in the last 24 hours since I last spoke to you, but the three people that came and viewed the house last night all made offers, which is just incredible. Definitely not what we were expecting. And it sort of just shows that anything can happen with these things and it's all about timing. It must have just been a massive coincidence that the people that viewed it the week before didn't want to make an offer and then we got three offers on the table all at once. So uh, we had, like I told you, the first person that came at six o'clock, I already knew that she was quite keen because um, the estate agent had 
um, told us that she was really eager to get a view in as quickly as possible. So I knew that that was a good sign anyway. And she, she offered full asking price. She didn't try and barter us down or anything. Um, she actually made the offer at the time of the viewing. So we said, we'll definitely be considering that. We're not gonna mess anybody around. You're offering to pay what we've asked for it. But I hope you understand we can't cancel two viewings now. We've literally got two people lined up to come within the next hour. So we can't just like go ahead and cancel it. It wouldn't be fair. And she accepted that and she was just like, well, yeah, I understand that completely. But that's my offer. That's what I'm going to be ringing the office tomorrow and, and, and saying. As ow, they booked her last night. They also made an offer, but they didn't know what offers had already been put on the table. And they offered 5000 under the asking price. The estate agent just said, we've already had an offer of the asking price and they couldn't go any higher. The third viewing of the night, if you remember me saying they'd viewed it before, they offered a smidgen over the asking price to try and get into a bit of a bidding war, I think. The first lady came back and said, well, I'll go a thousand pound higher. And we just stopped it there and accepted her offer. She was the one who, you know, put that offer down on the table first. And without that offer, we think that um, the third people that came viewing it might have offered less. So we just didn't want to mess her around. And it was a fair offer, 100%. So we went with it and yeah, the house is showing us under offer and it's, well, it's not sold, is it, until completion. This dog is winding me up. You're annoying me today. You're being very bitey. There's no need for that. You've got most of your adult teeth. Come here. Anyway, a lot has happened as well for us. We've seen a couple of houses come on the market that we're interested in, so that's really exciting. And now we are in a position to actually put offers in. So we're definitely not going to rush anything and um, it's definitely going to be a process that we need to take a bit of time over but obviously if the right house comes up I just know I'm going to know and want to put an offer in straight away. So that brings me to the end of this video everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing the process of us selling our house. It was a quick sale. I'm really happy about it. Some of the feedback that we got from the people that didn't want it was things like the garden wasn't big enough and um, there wasn't ample parking because we don't have a driveway or anything. Um, but yeah, we've sold it, so everything is fine. And yeah, I'm really excited for what's to come. So if you want updates on future house type things and to find out sort of where we go next, house tours, make sure you hit subscribe down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye.